Hi guys, it's me, the Witch of Boise, here to do another general read. Ooh, so exciting. Make sure you do like this video, hit subscribe, also comment below, tell me if any of this resonates with you. This is a general read, so it may not resonate with you, but if it does, I'm really excited about it. Make sure you do comment below, tell me about it. Um, but also watch the entire video from start to finish. There might be a message that you're being guided today to watch. Um, also, if love becomes a part of the reading today, my default is reading to a female about a male. So pronouns are interchangeable. He's can be she's, she's can be he's, he, he, she, she, them or they, whatever is going on in your life. We're going to get started. Um, I typically do um, a bunch of tarot decks and oracle decks and I'm just feeling like pretty straightforward at just two tarot decks today. So we're going to do our... Um, which is tarot as our clarifying cards and then our A.E. White for our main cards. Okay, so what does tarot want to talk about today? So we already have one. It's face down. I don't know what it is. So I'm just going to put it up. And I would like, I, I want four cards today. That was way too many. Four cards, please. So three more. Three more cards. Okay, one more shuffle and then I'll just split it. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four. Okay, we're going to set that deck aside and now I'm going to do my Witch's Tarot. I'm just going to shuffle this about three times. And then we're going to cut the deck as well. It's four times, so that'll work. Four, four. Okay. All right. So this one kind of came out as two, so I'm going to actually use these two top ones as the clarifier for this. I'm just taking the top. I don't know what is under. That's just one card. Okay. So our first card is the nine of wands and that is being clarified by the three of pentacles then we have strength and that's being clarified by the ace of cups in reverse and then we have the five of cups being clarified by the knight of swords in reverse and last but not least, we have the world in reverse. And that's being clarified by the King of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. So something is not over. Okay, so it feels like that there is some struggle that is in the work department because we have the nine of wands, which is struggling. It's at the end of the battle that you've been beaten and bruised. And with the three of um, pentacles, this is my card for work, um, working with others. This can be even like a relationship as well that you're working on. Um, and it just, it feels like you've been dragged in the mud. It's just like you've been battered and bruised. Um, but it's, it's keep your chin up and continue to work forward and especially work with other people and make sure that you are using your resources as well. This is a card that is not being um, working solo. This is working as a group. So keep that in mind. Now, there's strength that's coming in right now. And with the um, Ace of Cups in reverse, it feels like that there might have been um, something that you might be thinking of breakups. You might be thinking of something that has happened that has broken your heart. Um, that maybe something 
you wanted to start never did um, with that ace of, of cups in reverse, but you have the strength to overcome this. This is one of our major arcanas. Our other one is the world in reverse. So we need to really hone in on these two specific messages in this overall reading because they are major arcana. Um, so it's really having the strength to move forward and, you know, um, there is some batter and bruisedness here. That's not just with finances. It just feels like it's like all of your life where it just feels like everything's gone to shit. And you have the strength to overcome this. You really do. Um, it just sometimes you need to vent and sometimes it it's okay to feel overwhelmed and it's okay to feel any sort of feeling that you're feeling because all of your feelings are valid. You can't say that if you feel a certain way and it's wrong or you, or someone else feels a certain way and it's wrong. That's incorrect because that's their feelings. You can't you can't control that. You can't have um you can't invalidate someone's feelings or your own feelings. So really like ride this wave of if you're feeling down, if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed, feel that feeling, but let it go. Make sure it doesn't stay, you know, it's just let it be like a breeze coming in through your window where it's feel that breeze, feel that energy and then release it. It don't keep it locked into your house and have it keep whirling around, you know? So you have the strength to overcome this. Um, I'm getting summertime for sure when things are going to start to turn around. And I'm not even talking about like, because if you're watching this in the the distant future, this is around the coronavirus stuff where we're all staying at home. Um, and so I'm not saying that this is that, but I feel like there's going to be a turnaround during Leo season, which is interesting because last year I was convinced that there was going to be a huge energy shift that was going to happen in Leo season. And I just kind of waited for it and nothing really did. It was a slow energy build to where we are now. And I feel like the switch was on during that time. But again, it wasn't just like, like release the hounds and like it just comes forward. It wasn't like that. It was a slow release, slow getting up. But I do feel like things are going to actually turn around. Um, I don't feel like it's going to be quickly, but it can be. Um, just and I'm just getting sunshine Leo and that's where it is that positivity um, with the sun energy. Um, but you have the strength to overcome any obstacle that you can come across. You really do. Um, it's just having the, the power to believe in yourself and that you can overcome it because you're your biggest obstacle. And that's true. Um, and I feel like there is times that, um, you're feeling like you might be looking in the past looking um, at the negative of things instead of the positive, instead of blessings. Um, you know, the thing is, is you have, if you have a place to stay, you have food, you have um, certain things, you should be blessed. You should be blessing yourself and being thankful and expressing gratitude, not focusing on this. And this is a really big issue, at least for me right now. <laughs> um, I have, like, I lost my shit last night. Um, like, I just, I felt like my walls were closing in on me. It was almost like a panic attack. Um, and I was just focusing on it. Well, again, you, my feelings are valid, but at the same time, you have to release them. You can't just let them and hold on to them and focus only on them. You need to focus on your blessings, even if they are few and far in between. Um, focus on, like, your health. Focus on your family, the people that you love. Um, but I feel like this funk is going to last for a little bit until you can actually switch that energy. But I do feel because this is a, a five of cups that there is going to be a transformation that's going to be taking place. So it's that transformation of, of, at least in this card, of switching your perspective. So turning around and looking at those two cups rather than those three cups. 
But with the Knight of Swords in reverse, um, that is a really, um, with it being in reverse, that's a really, really slow moving energy. Um, the Knight of Swords is super quick. It is a quick, quick energy. One of the fastest cards that you can find in um, tarot, but with it in reverse, it's just slow. So this is a slow moving transformation. And, and like I've said in the other readings, if you're quarantined at home or if you're staying at home, if you're ordered to stay at home, like a mandate or whatever, it's just making sure that you are taking the time to really take this opportunity to transform yourself and to heal from things. And I think that's another thing where this kind of like energy of like, I can't do this anymore is coming from, is that we're stuck at home and you don't have an outlet to really go distract yourself unless it's substances, which don't do that. Um, or just other stuff like that. You know, you really just need to focus on what we can do as a, as a whole, as yourself, as a whole, as a community to come out of this thing stronger than ever. Oh, sorry. It's, there's a dog outside. Coda, stop. Stop. <laughs> um, I'm just going to pause this and wait for her to be done. All right. We have Coda in position. She's laying down. We're good. Okay. So um, last but not least, we have the world in reverse. So this is telling us that this is not over yet. And I don't feel like this is like what is going on right now. I feel like this, this whole thing that's happening right now as a collective is, it, it, it's going to feel long, but it really isn't. It's just going to be a blink of an eye. But I feel like this transformation that's at place or that is taking place right now, it's not going to be over when this is over. So the, the work that you're going to be dedicating yourself into um, within yourself right now is going to trickle outside of this. And so it's almost like an intense um, rehab. And if you think of it that way, where if you're constantly healing and you're constantly focused on healing at home, then you're being placed out into the real world. When things start to open up and you get to go back to work and do all of this stuff, it's going to be weird because you're going to have to try to find a new normal. And that's going to be with everyone as well. And so um, this, this whole transformation that's happening, it's not over yet. Now, I feel like that there is something that is going on with um, maybe your family life that is going on with maybe... Um, a, a partner, someone that you wanted to start a family with. Um, and I'm like, it's someone that has to do, and this can be an air sign. This can be a, um, a, a, a Gemini, um, Aquarius or a, uh, Libra because of the, the King of Swords. But this is also that um, type of person, which is very stoic, very serious. They're not super goofy. They're just kind of straight to the point. And um, I feel like that there's been a relationship that has been strained, that um, that has been um, something that felt like family, that felt like home, something that is like that. And they might have left. There might have been some sort of separation. There might have been a fight. There might have been something that's been going on and you might have thought that it was over. Well, it's not. So there's a lot of energy that's going on with this transformation. And I feel like well, at least on this person, and this can also be you, if this, if that really does um, resonate with you as yourself, yeah, it totally is. Like this whole thing is. But I feel like, this person as well is going through the same kind of struggles that and same kind of transformation that you're getting in this reading. This can be even like a twin flame thing. Like this can be like a soulmate or something that's like that, that has been in your life and that felt like home and it's not over. So uh, it, uh, like I said, and, and I, it's really strange because I filmed, um, Toasty Tarot Nights yesterday and then I started watching, 
um, the Healing with Love. My friend Marcy was doing a live reading on Instagram and follow her on Instagram and on YouTube. And um, she was saying the same exact things that I did in my reading before I even watched this. So you're going to be hearing from people from your past because everyone's hunkered down. Everyone's seeing what is going on, what is in their heart, what has happened in their past. And it's like almost righting their wrongs. And some people are going to really go into a transformation state of like, wow, I was really in the wrong about that and reaching out to apologize. And those people, if they're reaching out to apologize to you, that's really great because that can tell you that they're transforming as well. Now, if you're getting like texts or messages of like, you up, like <laughs> it's no, like they did not <laughs> transform or anything. So it's, it, you're going to be hearing from people and I don't feel like it's one or two. I think it's like a handful of people and it's just because they're stuck at home. There's nothing else to really do. And they're, they're thinking about you. They might be reaching out to you on social media. Um, they might be texting you. But it's going to be, it's, it's going to be crazy. So, and I feel like this person, especially this, like I'm getting X vibe, but this can also be a friend that was really, really close. It's someone that feels like family in the sense that you are really, really close. Like, thick as thieves kind of energy. So um, yeah, you're definitely going to be hearing from them. All right, guys, I'm trying to get Coda to not go to the window. So I'm going to end this video. Thanks for hanging out. I hope that this did resonate with you. Um, make sure you comment below. Tell me if it did. I love to read your comments. Um, and also, um, Make sure that you do like me on Instagram at Witch of Boise, Twitter is at Witch of Boise, and Facebook Witch Boise. Again, thanks so much for hanging out. I really do appreciate all of your support, and um, I hope that you have a good day or had a good day. And we're gonna hang out soon. Bye. <laughs> Check out Coda looking for puppies. Where's the puppy? Where's the puppy?